Hi, I'm Tavleen uh, and in this video I'm talking about order forms or WooCommerce one page checkout. Well now let's understand what is WooCommerce one page checkout. Let's first understand how do you currently go about doing things. So you run email marketing campaigns or advertising campaigns or any other way of directing traffic. So you actually direct traffic to your product pages. Now a product page, a typical product page is actually full of distractions. So you've got the navigation menu, uh, then you've got links on the side, then you've got cross sell and upsell products, so on and so forth. So a user has too many options and he can click um, at different places and sort of disappear, right? But you don't want that. The second problem is that before he actually makes the payment or swipes his card, there are good three steps that one has to go through so the user would actually go and click add to cart then he's directed to the cart page from there he uh, sort of goes on to the checkout page and then finally places the order what an order form or a one page checkout does is that it eliminates all of these redundant steps so there's just one single page where you explain the product in great detail you explain uh, you know uh, the, you sort of you write the description of the product and then you've got the testimonials the video of the product so whatever is needed to uh, help them make the decision and on that page itself you've got an embedded checkout form so they do not have to switch tabs or go to a different browser or go through sort of different steps to make the payment they can stay on that page fill out their details uh, and just make the purchase there's literally no back and forth involved and that is what makes this process super friction free now, let me actually tell you, uh, you know, how this uh, works in the online world. So recently I had an experience where I went to actually, uh, you know, buy some t-shirts for myself. So I bought some tees, um, actually I didn't buy them, I shortlisted some tees and when I went to the counter, I was welcomed by a long queue of shoppers. And obviously that was intimidating. So I didn't want to actually be, uh, you know, the 10th in the queue. Uh, so I just kept the tees back and went away. What a shame, right? Uh, the shop did lose a customer. And of course, it lost many customers because I also heard someone talking on the phone and telling them, well, I cannot buy anything because there's a long queue at the checkout, right? Now, contrast this with another experience that I had at the Apple store. Now, uh, the Apple caretakers or the managers were spread across there were, there were no counters as such but they were spread across and they were wearing lime green tees so that you could actually uh, you know sort of spot them from a different uh, from a distance so uh, they were standing there and they were answering the questions of the people who were trying to make a purchase and here's the best part well they all had handheld uh, device to take the payment so the moment you were convinced the moment you were ready to uh, make the payment they were ready to take the payment so there was no friction involved here and there were no long queues right so these are two alternate checkout processes so order form is actually the way apple does it right it's it's like having your care managers standing right there with handheld devices and they're ready to take the payment the moment your customer your prospect is ready to pay all right, so I'm going to show you how to create this page here and have this embedded checkout form like this here, right? So this is what we're going to learn. So let me now take you to the back end. So here we are. Now this is WooFunnels. Now you're going to simply go into Arrow Checkout and you're going to add new, right? And this is going to be one page checkout for men's razor. So this is the page title. Now this is only for internal purposes. Uh, the, your users cannot see this, right? They cannot see this. So you just set the page title and then you simply hit create all right so here now it asks you to add new product so you're going to add new product select the product here so this is uh, we're talking about creating an order form for a Philips men's razor right men's shaver so this is what it is let's add the product now the product has been added as you can see it has auto fetched all the details about the product right now this is a simple product type it's not a variable if it were a variable then of course uh, you know it'll have multiple variants here uh, now here we've got the discount so in on the order form if you want to actually offer a special discount then you can do that um, uh, you know so if you're running an ad campaign or an email marketing campaign and you want to say that this discount is only available when you check out from this order form on this this link uh, then you can actually set a specific discount now this will not be available on your store it will not be visible to others 
it will only be restricted uh, for this specific page, right, that we are creating right now. So you can actually create, uh, you can offer a discount on regular price or on sale price. And similarly, you can offer a discount in percentage or in fixed amount that is dollars, right? Uh, regular price and the sale price, of course, uh, on the product page, if you've set up uh, a regular price and then you've already offered a sale price and then on top of that sale price, you want to offer a percentage of, you can do that. This is the section for quantity if you're offering let's say on this checkout form you're saying that buy three uh, men's razor at 30% off if that is your offer and that is the advertising campaign that you're running then you can select the quantity from here and um, uh, and you know you can offer uh, the discount on that quantity you can you can sell uh, let's say uh, two or three of these through this checkout form through this order form you can add more products here if you like simply let's just save the product now right now let's go on to the form section Now, in the form section, as you can notice, you've got multiple, uh, you know, uh, multiple sections here. Basically, all of these are called sections and within these, you've got these fields, right? So you can choose to collect whatever information that you like first, for example, first name. Right. So first name and then last name and then email. And let's say you do not want to collect shipping uh, address here, but you want to do it here. So it's all very simple drag and drop as you can notice. I don't want to collect phone because that's um, not uh, an information that's necessary for me. Uh, then you can actually edit this section and say uh, basic info, right? So you can update that section. Uh, now this is uh, that and you can again everything is very simple dra drag and drop and you can uh, you can even make it a two-step form so if you want to collect uh, uh, you know information about billing details in the next step you can always make it a two-step form that is also a possibility right uh, now let's just save this form all right so form has been saved successfully let's go on into the design section all right, so next we are going to move into the design section. Now in the design section, as you'll notice, you've got two options, pre-built checkout page and embed checkout form. Now pre-built is when you actually want to swap your default checkout uh, page with the, the one built by Arrow, right? That's when you select pre-built checkout page. And uh, when you want to actually generate a short code for your checkout form and embed it anywhere, uh, it could be a landing page, uh, built by Elementor, Thrive or whatever, then you select embed checkout form and then you will be able to generate a short code which you can then copy and simply paste it on your landing page, right? So let's just now select embed checkout form and activate it because that's what we want for generating the order form. Now, as soon as you will activate it, you will realize that the short code will appear which you can then copy paste, right? Now, when you actually click on customize, the customizer gets launched. So here you can edit the entire form. You can customize the form, make it on brand, right? Change its colors, so on and so forth. So um, the information, the basic information, all these fields uh, are actually coming up from the, uh, from the form section that we have previously edited. This is basically for customizing the font size, the font type, the color, uh, on, uh, CSS and all of that, right? So you've got all, you've You've got the product your product section here which is the product selector if you had more than one product then more than one products would have appeared in this section so this is quantity one price uh, so since you're offering a discount on this uh, particular product on this order form so the discount is also shown here that is why you have the the sale price uh, you know the, the main price and the sale price both reflecting here then shipping details, order summary, payment information. Now this section is not customizable, it's not editable. It's a default section which appears as it is on, uh, on your form, right? Um, so let me just show you one simple edit. So you can actually edit, uh, edit the form width, right? Uh, you can uh, make it wider if you like, then you can change the heading. So I'm just gonna change it to complete your purchase, your order right and then where should we ship it so uh, that is what will then reflect on the top
yes so this is uh, this is again everything is customizable and you can also change the color of this product selector section from light yellow to whatever you like so it's very clearly says buy one and save these many dollars uh, you know because we're offering a discount on this and uh, so it tells you this is what your saving is going to be you can always disable this part if you like i'm going to show you how you can do that in the settings section a little later so now that the form has been edited you simply go and hit publish so your form is now ready uh, now when you will come back into the design section uh, you are since you're, you have now already done your form you can basically copy the short code from here so we're going to copy the short code and then we're going to launch into elementor so this is a basic page that i have set up for the rechargeable pocket shaver for men and then we're going to search for the short code widget and we're going to put it out here and we're going to simply paste the short code here so it's automatically going to pick up apply now this has been applied let me show you how it actually appears on the front end so this is it this is how the page appears you've got um, you know you you can explain the product in great detail on this page by using different widgets of elementor or whatever landing page builder that you're using and then on the right hand side you can embed the checkout form just like this right so as you can see this is the product selector you've got the quantity the price so this special discount is only available on this page and not elsewhere on your store and you've also got this buy one save option right so this is how the embeddable checkout form looks uh, you've got this option for have a coupon code well if you want you can eliminate this option if you do not want people to enter the coupon code and you do not want that we should ask here if they have a coupon code or not that will be done from the settings section i will show you how that is done now before that let me actually take you uh, a, you know and show you how to set up an order bump so let's say you want to upsell on top of a pocket shaver let's say you want to upsell a nose trimmer so then you can actually attach an order bump to it which will significantly increase your average order value so going into the back end Right, so this is the order bump. I am not actually going to show you how to set up order bumps because that's actually beyond the scope of this video. But what I will do is I will activate an order bump which has already been created and I'll show you how it's going to look on the embeddable checkout form. So let's just activate. These are all the order bumps that we've created. Let's just activate an order bump right so here we go this is how it will appear on uh, the screen uh, you know on on the on the embeddable checkout form and uh, here here it is this is the nose trimmer now one can simply check the box and add the nose trimmer to their order and that's about it the order total will uh, get sort of updated and the new product will be added to their card yes that's it just with a simple tick on the check box so that's that's how that's how order bumps really work uh, and then let's go into the settings section again you've got a couple of uh, you know a few options here you can disable coupon feed field then uh, the user will not be asked to enter to, you will not be asked if he has a coupon code or not alternatively you can also automatically apply a coupon code so let's say you're running an advertising campaign you're saying the coupon code is save 20 save 20 percent and it has already been applied just hit the link then you can also automatically apply the coupon code and create one uh, in your woocommerce ba backend right uh, then you've got product selection here you can hide quantity hide quick view hide safe text if the value is zero so on and so forth so you can hide all these things you've got advanced settings here you can choose to set uh, this page to expire uh, you know after a number of orders have been taken from this specific order form so when you will hit yes then it will ask you how many orders would you like to take from this order form before it actually expires so you can set the number here and secondly you can also select set the redirect uh, redirect url so then it will be redirected to that page then you can also close the checkout after date so you can set an expiry date after which the checkout form will not be available and they will be redirected to elsewhere this is embedded script section you can embed your facebook google analytics hotjar scripts so on and so forth so from the third party vendors your tracking scripts can be embedded here 
Well, so that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. That is how you create a one page checkout form or an order form and direct targeted traffic to this page. I would highly encourage you to uh, check out uh, Arrow Checkouts. This is uh, by Build Who Funnels. Just hit the link above or below this video and uh, you know go ahead and watch this video watch uh, arrow checkout in action see how you can swap your default low converting checkout pages by highly optimized checkout pages built by arrow but i would also encourage you to check out the checkout page of arrow itself because it has been built by arrow right just take a look at all the credibility boosting elements that this checkout page has got the testimonials the support section, why buy from us section and um, see what you can do with your checkout. So get ready uh, to increase your checkout conversions with Arrow. Uh, do go ahead and hit the link and uh, you know explore more, discover Arrow for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. If you do like this content, uh, consider subscribing to this channel in case you're watching me on Facebook. Well, stay tuned for more such videos coming up. There will be more tutorials definitely coming up. And if you have any questions, please pop them in the comment box below. I will be more than happy to take them up for you.